tonight we have new information about the murder of a young jogger in Princeton, and it comes from the killer himself. Newly examined DNA is giving police a profile of the suspect in Vanessa Marcotte's murder, including his age and his ethnicity. WBZ's Katie Brace is live in Princeton tonight. Katie? And Lisa, this description of Vanessa Marcotte's killer is giving her family and the town a sense that she will get justice. Until now, police had only said that her killer drove a dark colored SUV. We now have DNA from a person of interest. A major break in the search for Vanessa Marcotte's killer. Stephen Theron is her uncle. We're very uh, enheartened by the fact that this might ultimately be a tool that the DA and the state police can use. At the family's home, an obvious plea for tips. As over six months ago, on August 7th, Vanessa disappeared while running on Brook Station Road in Princeton. The Google exec in New York City was visiting her mom. Her body was found naked and burned in the woods near the house. A flower marks the spot. Because they're using some of the latest scientific techniques. The latest DNA technology combined with witness statements led to the description of Vanessa's killer. A Hispanic or Latino man in his 30s with a light to average skin tone, average height with an athletic build, shaved head or short hair, and at the time... He would have had scratches about the face, neck, arms, hands, and upper body. The description of her attacker has lifted hopes that officers will make an arrest. We've been pretty discouraged that there hasn't been any progress for a long time. So <clears throat> glad to hear that. I think the whole town is waiting for it, yes. So this is really good news. And we hope that uh, for our friends and neighbors that this person can be taken off the streets and not harm anybody in the way that he did Vanessa. The DNA does not match anyone in the criminal database, and police have also used it to rule out other possible suspects. Reporting live in Princeton, Katie Brace, WBC News.